lost? My name's Nicole. Don't worry, I'll help you. Page your parents from there, okay? What's your name, anyway? Katie! Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Why did you do this? You know how worried we get when you wander off. Hi. We were just going up front to page you. I'm Nicole Roberts. Hello. I'm Spence Coffey. This is my wife, Robin. Hi. I trust you've already met Katie. Katie? Oh, she wouldn't tell me her name. It's not that she wouldn't, Nicole, it's just that... Well, we were in an accident two years ago, and she hasn't spoken since. That's why we were so upset. We were afraid she wouldn't be able to ask someone for help if she needed it. I understand. We met while she was watching Biosa. Have you seen the killer whale show yet? No. Mm, this is our first visit to the aquarium. It's lovely. Do you come here often? Well, I guess you could say that. My dad's the curator here. Oh. <laughs> you know... There's another show in 10 minutes. If you like, I'll show you the best seats in the house. Great. Okay, follow me. Okay. And be sure Hayek has given us extra dose of iron. He's not as young as he used to be, you know. Well, by the time you get around to taking your vacation, you won't be either. Yeah, but if I put it off again, my wife says she's going on her second honeymoon without me. <laughs> you and George. I finally got him off on his vacation, two weeks in Hawaii. You know, somehow I just can't picture Dr. Dunbar in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Anyhow, about Biosa. You know, I was thinking Richard, that if we would just... Biosa will be just fine. Uh, it's just that Biosa, well, you know, I've trained her since the first day she came to well, hi, girls. You hear us talking about you? Huh? Oh, yeah. She knows a soft touch when she sees one. Yeah. Oh, and there's my dad over there. That's Richard, Biosa's trainer. And the woman over there, that's Marta Larson. She'll be filling in with Biosa while Richard's away on vacation. How'd you like to stick around and see the show? Sure. Tell Biosa she has a critic in the wing. <laughs> Good afternoon, and welcome to our aquarium. The two stars of our show, Finn and Biosa, would like to welcome you as well. That's why the best seats in the house, I can't eat. 
Sorry, folks, but don't mind the water. The Quahcutal Indians consider it a sign of good luck to be splashed by a killer whale. Biosa, who is working on your right, is nine years old, and Pinnett is eight. Hayak, the larger whale you see swimming around, over here on your left, is about 18 years old. All the exercises you are viewing are part of a killer whale's natural behavior. For instance, the flipper smash is used for communication. We do use a food reward system for every correct exercise, they receive a few herring. Certainly the most spectacular movement of the whale is the high jump. Biologists are uncertain why the whales jump so high, possibly either courtship or play. concludes our show for today. If you have any questions about the whales, a trainer will be located at the foot of the North Stairs. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your visit at our aquarium. Marta, hi Richard. Is everything all set for the Harbor Seal release? Yes, all set to go. Oh, great. Dad. Hi, honey. Hi, I met some new friends. That's nice. This is Katie. And her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Coffey. How do you do? This Hi. is my dad, Dr. Grant Roberts. Marta Larson and Richard Gibbs, Biosa's trainer. Glad to meet you. We just watched the whale show. <laughs> I can see that. What did you think of Biosa and Finna, Katie? Katie doesn't talk, Dad, but she loved it, right? How would you like to meet Biosa up close, Katie? <laughs> Who do the girls remind you of? Katie and Karen. Karen? Our eldest daughter. She was uh, a year older than Katie. They were about as close as sisters can be. Best friends, I guess you'd say. Karen was killed two years ago in an automobile accident. Katie hasn't spoken since. I'm sorry. must have the whale show memorized by now. Yeah, Katie really likes Biosa. Well, haven't you uh, taken her around to any other parts of the aquarium? There's some pretty interesting things, you know. Well, a little bit. But she keeps on coming back to Biosa. I think they're really friends, Dad. And Biosa seems to recognize her. Oh, that's very possible. Biosa's a very special animal. Maybe she senses how Katie feels. You know, we don't know that much about whales. They may have a way of communicating that we don't know anything about. Do you think she'll ever talk again, Dad? Her parents are very hopeful. Physically, she's able to talk, you know. But she went through a severe trauma, and she's got some kind of psychological block. Because she lost her sister? They call it elective mutism. How come none of us stopped talking when we lost Mom? Everybody has their own way of expressing grief, sweetheart. Hi, Katie. Mrs. Coffee. Hi. You ready to get started? Have fun, sweetheart. Oh, here's some money. I want you to get yourself and Nicole a snack. Oh, don't worry about that. We have sandwiches for them. Unless you'd rather eat with Biosa. How do you feel about raw herring, Katie? <laughs> We're gonna go. Oh. See you later. You know, I just can't get over the change in Katie. It's been so long since she's shown an interest in anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Venard, he's been Katie's doctor, suggested we get her a dog or a kitten, something she could love that would help her. Unfortunately, we couldn't talk her into it. So she settled for a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness she can't show up on our doorstep with Biosa. Yeah, what would the neighbors think? Spence and I are very grateful to you and Nicole Grant. It hasn't been an easy couple of years. But now, with your daughter and Biosa, who knows, maybe things will finally start looking up for her. I hope so. Sadie the seagull. She just showed up here eight months ago. Came Biosa's friend. She's looking for food. <laughs> when Biosa gets some caught between her teeth, she just lets Sadie pick it out. Next to Richard and the other whales, Sadie is Biosa's best friend. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? You're right, Biosa didn't give her usual award-winning performance. I don't know what it is, but she's just not being herself. In what way? Well, her leaps have fallen off. She's not jumping as high as she usually does. Hi, kids. You two having fun? What's going on down here? Marta and I are just talking about Biasa. There's nothing wrong with her, is there? No, she's just a little under the weather. Whales have their bad days, too, you know. See you later. A guided tour of the grounds will begin in 10 minutes. Please meet at the it's like she just isn't interested in performing. You're right, that's strange for Biosa. Finn is the one that's unpredictable usually, right? Mm -hmm. How's she eating? Okay, but I'm still a little worried about her. She seems off a beat. Well, she may have a cold or a mild infection of some sort. I'll take a blood sample later, just to be sure. Okay, I'll meet you here after the last show. Good. trainer's office over there. Maybe later on we can go inside. You can get a really good look at Biosa from in there. Come on, I want to show you something. Go I see a neat trick? like the sound or something. You want to try? See? Works every time. I think he recognizes you. I wonder why she hasn't been feeling well. How do you ask a whale where it hurts? Huh? If Richard was here, he would know what was wrong with Biosa. Katie. She's as bad as Jonah when it comes to needles. She's downstairs waiting. Donna's gonna analyze this before she leaves tonight. Great. I'm anxious to see if she finds anything. I can't believe that. I mean, what did you say to him? 
I told him, I never date men who wear more jewelry than I do. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. Oh. oh. Hi, Joyce. Anna? Boy, you two look great. You double dating or something? No. Ladies' night out. We got tickets for the ballet. Oh. Am I going to make you late for opening curtain with this blood sample? Don't worry about it. We still got plenty of time. Thanks. Why don't you go and see if Katie's ready to go? They're going to be locking up soon. Okay. Joyce, someday will you show me how to put makeup on? Sure. Makeup. Yep. And that's only the beginning. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, hi. Hi, come on in. Thanks. You found it all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Robin, Spence, this is Donna and Joyce. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Um, where's Katie? Oh, Nicole just went to get it. She probably wanted to stay and watch Biasa for as long as she could. Goodness. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Donna. Hey, Joyce. Hey, seems fine, but we should run a total serum profile. I'll take this over to the hospital first thing in the morning. Okay. You take Bios's blood to a human hospital? Oh, sure. Whales are people, too. They're mammals. Dad, I can't find Katie. She wasn't at Bios's pool? No. Well, she's probably just at one of the other exhibits. Come on, we'll go look for her. Come on, let's give him a hand. We have a backup set of lights in the lab. Just be a second. heard from Lloyd Neely yet? He's our chief engineer. The life support systems are fine. It's just the lights in the public areas where the circuit breakers blew. She's terrified of the dark. Mm -hmm. Ever since the accident. Nicole. Katie knows that this is my office. So she may come back here. So why don't you stay here? Take that. And the rest of us will split up. And whoever finds her will let the others know. Katie! 
be? I don't know, but we'll find her. Something must be down there holding her attention. Better take a look. Piosa. Donna, we're gonna check the trainer's room. I'll check the conference room. Found her. She's down in the training room. Don't you ever. You gave us quite a scare there, young lady. You sure did, sweetheart. We were very worried. I'm so sorry this happened. Thank you all for your concern. Yes, thank you very much. Biosa. Katie. Katie? What about Biosa, Katie? Richard. Richard? He's away on... Is that what you think is wrong with Viosa? She misses Richard? I think you may be right, Katie. You know what Viosa's feeling, don't you, Katie? like Katie hit it right on the nose. We got Biosa's results back, and everything is negative. She's in perfect physical health. And Richard's due back next week. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a shame we can't let Biosa know that. Would you look at that? Looks like he's your friend for life now. You're so beautiful, Biosa. Who would have even thought that a whale would have been the thing that got Katie talking again? The doctor told us not to get our hopes up. They don't know a whole lot about elective nudism. It may be months until she's speaking normally again. We just have to take it one day at a time. We were very lucky with Dr. Bernard, though. He's been wonderful with Katie. Well, it looks like the worst is behind you now. That's worth, uh, 19 points. Uh-oh, that puts you ahead of Nicole. That's okay, I got a great word to put in here. Too bad it's not your turn. Quartz, um, how much is that worth? It's a triple word score, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, 99. Uh, uh, pardon, I, I can't hear you. 99, okay? Okay, that's great. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Oh, who's winning? Jonah, for once. Papa. <laughs> and Katie's in second. Well done, Katie. <laughs> Do you need any help? No, I can handle this all by myself, thanks. Chair sure, Mover, are you going to take all day? We're going to make you favorite for dinner, Katie. Charbroiled hamburgers. Haven't you moved yet? Oh, no, not that stupid word again. It's not the word that's stupid. Have you ever heard of id? I thought you were going to look that word up, Jonah. Uh, Nicole took the dictionary to school with her. What does it mean, anyway? Id. Part of your psychic makeup. That unconscious self that reacts from instinct. Kind of the way an animal acts from instinct. Danger! Danger! Oh, no. Danger! What do you... Come on. Oh, 